hey everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing really good so today i'm going to fix this motherboard and this is a asus x454l laptop motherboard this motherboard condition is it's not turning on so someone already tried to fix this but they could not fix this laptop so they sent to us and now i will try to fix this motherboard so let's try to fix it okay uh, this is a motherboard model number x 455 lj revision 3.1 so now i will first i will show you the condition of this motherboard so, let me connect to my dc power supply to this motherboard and as you can see it's not taking any ampere so at first i will check evidence in main power rail which is 19 volts so i set my multimeter in beep mode and then i put this ground to ground and at first i will check this uh, dc connector as you can see there is no beep and then i will check this current has been registered here as you can see no beep here or not showing any value that means 19 volt power rail not shot to ground it's clear so now i will connect to the power supply again and i will check dc voltage here first here we have 19 volt present here then i will check this current sensing register here so as you can see no voltage is available here so if i check here here also not available the first mosfet so let's check this under my microscope So as you can see this is a fast MOSFET so we have 19 volt present in DC jack here and here but when I check here at the side of this MOSFET no voltage is available here if I check this gate gate also zero no voltage is available in gate pin so now I will check this MOSFET is short or not so I set my multimeter beep mode again and let's check this MOSFET as you can see mosfet is good there is no shot gate also clear so let's check this second mosfet here this also good as you can see no shot so this two mosfet is good now i will check charging ic some required voltage in charging ic so at first i will check v in for charging ic as you can see here so we have uh, 18 volt on the side of this register here also 18 volt present so let me open board view for this specific model i have already downloaded here so drag it here okay this is a good view so, uh, for software for this specific model so let me flip this board here and rotate so as you can see you have this charging ic this is a charging ic so we already checked v in voltage for this uh, charging ic uh, this is here uh, pin number 20 pin number 20 already checked we have 18 volt present in pin number 20 so next i will check uh, i will check check this voltage pin number six this is a ac detect so i will check this voltage there should be 2.5 volt present so pin number six is uh, <clears throat> one two three four five six pin number six is here okay there is no AC detect voltage here, here must be present 2.5 volt uh, with the voltage divider as you can see here two register this is a voltage divider so I can see some crossing here as you can see here 
we must have uh, 19 volt present oh my god see here with this resistor already broken here okay This is liquid damage. This track also broken here. This is a voltage divider. So here explain about this. Okay, we have two register here, one and two. So we have 18 volt present here, and then this voltage divided. Yeah, so we can we will get 2.5 volt here and this is our AC detect voltage here and this register we connect with ground here so we must have present here 2.5 volt so first I need to know this register value so as you can see here only we can see first name or number but uh, not mention the value so in this case i can replace from my donor board or i can check this register if this register is good so I can, you can see this register already crowded so I cannot use this resistor again but I can check this resistor value it's uh, 127.9k or I mean 128 kilo ohms resistor I have a toner board already so I can replace this resistor from my toner board and then I will check the result okay this is my donor board so let me clean this area first with flax so i put some flax here Let's turn on my hot air gun. So if you have a donor board, lots of donor boards, so laptop repairing will be easy for you. So it will be very easy for you. Okay, I'm going to replace this register. It's a very tiny register. Let's put some flux on it. The pair's done. Let's clean this area a little bit.
Okay, slice and smooth. Okay, it's look good now. Everything is perfect. I hope this board will be working condition now. So let's connect this. AC power supply again and it's turn on as you can see it's turning on now so let let me check let me show you this AC detect voltage so I set my multi in DC mode so first I will check here we have 19 volt so other side it's 2.8 okay it's okay so this voltage must present here as we detect voltage 2.5 2.6 2.7 whatever pin number six so as you can see here this is ac detect and this is a bq 735 bq 735 charging ic so it's done so now I will check if this place is okay or not. and we have a asus logo so it's done successfully we fixed this motherboard so thanks for watching this video if you like this video so please hit the subscribe button press the bell icon if you already subscribed my channel thank you so much see you in the next video until then stay well bye bye